Hello everyone, welcome back to Outrius Plays Minecraft Stone Block 2. This is the good old-fashioned challenge map. Remember what we did in the last episode? I showed you this whole thing, but the thing that we wanted to do, which was to make a drawer controller, required never... Mm, quartz. Yeah, yes, quartz. Now, I uh, there's a way of doing it, but look, here's some. We won some. I got some uh, from a... It wasn't a quest reward, it was the other thing. Oh, did we? Just before I... Hang on. Yes, we... We have done all the quests. I have handed in all the quests that are necessary to hand in. Um, let me show you. The um, mob farm that we've got down here is producing these loot crates. Uh, I was opening the rare ones and the epic ones and things like that. And I ended up with uh, some nether quartz, which means we can finally make our drawer controller. Which is here. Uh, this requires nether quartz because of these redstone comparators, which is kind of interesting because, of course, it's basically the only thing that is, is one of very few uses of nether quartz, at least. Uh, we would need a draw, some stone, a diamond, and then two of those comparators. So that's plenty of, it's going to be a bit of redstone. I did do some mining off camera. So I've got a, a few bit more, a fair amount more resources than we had when we left <clears throat> the end of the last episode. But we're still kind of low-ish on redstone, but at least I can take um, a stack and not worry about it. Let's get a stack of redstone. Let's get some sticks. Let's get a couple of... Just one diamond. And we needed some stone, which is in this one. And then we can use everything. I use these crafting stations because if you put them next to an inventory, you can read the inventory from the crafting table when you're making the things, but that's okay. We, don't do that. uh, we should probably just, just pull one of these down for now. I know I have an axe. I <laughs> could, have, could have used it by now. Um, one of the problems that we're currently having in this whole scenario is that we're low on power and the magmatic generators, although I did create a second one, hither, um, there's, a, there's a limit to the amount that those are produced and there's a limit amount this is producing. We're going to look at some alternatives for power in the future. I don't think I'm going to get it to this episode. I have started building what I want to do, but I don't want to do it. Uh, just yet. I want to show you what I've done because I want it to. I want it to be sure it's going to work, basically. The so two of these, please. We should be able to make uh, a couple of these comparators. So we want six of these. Why? It's chicken poop in my inventory. So then that's two of these, please. Enough. <laughs> Enough with the chicken poop. One of these. A red. A draw controller, which is a quest. This is a grand thing indeed. Let me show you what happens. So if we uh, put the draw controller here, this is connected to all of these drawers of which we have three by four, which is 12. So you can see there are 12 things in this inventory and it does indeed match the things that we have over here. If I uh, double right click on the draw controller, everything that I had in my inventory that can be put into these drawers here went in, which is great. The trouble is I have a few more drawers than that. I don't know if you've noticed, <laughs> there's a little couple more drawers than just 12. Uh, we have a way around this. In fact, I've been saving up this, uh, and I'm going to show you what it is. If we have a look at drawers, there is an item called, is it trim? Yes, it's trim. This drawer trim here does nothing except, as if I magic, it will connect all the drawers together. It's something we definitely want. So let's get a stack of this and sure, whatever. Uh, let's make some trims and I'll show you. I'll make a, I'm going to make a lot. Um, it may seem overkill, but there is no overkill. So, um, it is not. And I thought that the way I've arranged... Brain. <laughs> Brain! I know it's late at night, but come on. I, I don't have an axe. Where's my axe? Axe. Axe. There's my axe. Just use this. It's going to be a little bit quicker. I don't want to be too stubborn and just never use my axe because people might shout at me. Now I can have a look at this. Now we have, there we go. Uh, it has now added the other, not just 12, but 24, because these are connected together. Mm-hmm. With me so far. And then if we add three more here, then these 24 will be connected together. <laughs> uh. Welcome to Altruism makes mistakes repeatedly in Minecraft, even though he should have learned from the first time. That one, that one, that one. You get the idea. We're going to trim all these together, but I also like the fact that the trim is indeed trim and makes a nice sort of... Uh, divider, a room divider. It's a good principle of, uh, no, it's a good principle of interior designs to have 
these uh, interesting and individually interesting ways of breaking up surfaces that are otherwise very plain and consistent and continue on. And it works in Minecraft as well as it works in real life. So if I do all of this, I am now adept at handling the iron pickaxe. There's going to be three for each of these, which is why I made so many, and I may have to make some more. And I'm going to make you watch me do all of this, but I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the ones up there. But there is one thing beyond this that I would like to do. So I will make you watch. How did you even manage that? You plonker. There we go. And then we're going to draw a line across here because it sort of just boxes in this room nicely, you know? So there you go. We've got a nice area. And of course, I can continue that wall indefinitely, essentially. So uh, we'll, we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, no. Now if you have a look at this, this should have a really big inventory, which should at least include all the stuff over there. So if I double right click on this, everything went away. You see my sticks went away? Everything that can go in here has gone in here, but you'll notice that the things that are empty remained empty. It didn't take out anything from my inventory. I didn't want to be taken out of my inventory uh, because these drawers don't know what should be in them. And it's not just going to arbitrarily fill them up. Let me get a couple of bars, a piece of gold here. Uh, and we have a look at this, the draw key. We need to upgrade time. We can actually make it. <laughs> so the draw key will lock a draw. For example, we take out all the rest of my nether quartz. Z there, empty. Now I can put anything in here. Spruce saplings, not a good idea. Put the nether quartz back. Lock the draw, take the nether quartz out. Still says nether quartz. It says zero nether quartzes back in now i can't put anything except for nether quartz in here even if i wanted to in fact i double right double right clicked on it put my nether quartz in even though i uh, didn't want to now I'm, the reason i wanted to do it in this order is i'm not going to go around locking every single one of these because i can just right click on right click on that right click on that the front of it every single drawer is now locked including the empty ones but with an empty one you can put something in it and then take it all out ta-da get it uh uh, so, like, <clears throat> yeah. But if we uh, make sure we don't put anything in these that we don't want in them, it's not going to mess around like it just did. Why are you not locked? Is there a limit to the number of? There may be a limit to the number of drawers a draw controller can handle, which I will look out off camera because it seems to have stopped here, in both directions. So I'm going to guess it's n times twenty-four, right? Which is one, two, three, four. Five. It's eight times twenty-four. That's interesting. You'd expect it to be a different number. Uh, yes, it's definitely stopped here, which means if we put this in here, get one out, then this probably isn't going to work. Right, so we're going to have to make another draw controller, I think. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because I was kind of hoping that this would um, extend indefinitely. That's okay. We'll do something different. The other thing that I wanted to do, <clears throat> I mean, you know, there's a small amount of things not caught, but who cares? Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do, apart from get rid of this oak trim here, away, uh, I've got a lot of stuff because I've been killing all the animals that keep spawning in my uh, base without permission. So that's nice. I mean, it's going to sustain me. It's a nice different diet. We don't have that annoying thing where you have to keep a, a decent diet going on. So that's fine. I, this is no good. I emptied that and put it in there, but we would rather have an ender chest. And if you are familiar, excuse me, if you are familiar with vanilla Minecraft, there is an ender chest in vanilla Minecraft, and what this does, uh, it's made of obsidian and eye of ender, which is quite difficult to make, but every player will have a different inventory for the ender chest, and every ender chest will have your inventory in it wherever you are. I don't want this one, I want this one. Uh, well, actually, I expected that to require an ender chest inside it, so that's really good. This will require four blaze rods. I thought we had, do we have four? We have three! Uh, I'll do that later. <laughs> I thought we had enough. Can I make a blaze rod? out of blaze powder because we have a lot of blaze powder uh, do, do. we can compact five blaze powder into a blaze rod we can craft get our loot crates that's pretty handy chickens drop them mobs drop them and blazes obviously that makes sense we could we could think about making a compactor should we do that now i don't really have a goal for this episode because there's so many things that i want to do that it's kind of silly that I'm managing to do any of them. Uh, I wanted to do the thing I just did, and now we've just did that, so that's really good. Um, but beyond that, I don't really have any uh, any goals. So let's get four of these, three of these, 
Piece of redstone. Where's my redstone? The other thing we're going to have to do, of course, is find a way of accessing this more sensibly, uh, which is going to come in the future, but for now, I like the way I've done this, although I'm very upset that it stopped over there. We'll figure it out. In fact, off camera, I'll probably figure the answer to that out somehow. Um, we need a piston, which is iron. I forgot about iron. Iron. Better be iron, because I've gone for it. Uh, one piston, please. This is cobblestone. Excuse me. How many times am I going to accidentally spin this mouse too hard? Cobblestone. Piston. Right. Machine frame is tin and tin. Tin, iron, glass. Iron. Is this tin? Is this tin? And some glass, please. And probably a piece of stone as well, right? Can't remember. I, I watched enough people play Minecraft that every time I look at the uh, way things are made, it's different in every episode. <laughs> so every single series of people that I watch playing Minecraft confuses me about how to make all these things. So we're going to uh, just go through these one at a time. There you go. How did you? I don't. Excuse me. Tin gear. Piece of tin. There we go. And then some bronze. We might have to make the bronze. This is nickel. This is copper. This is lead. Um, there's a better way of making these. Uh, these mergy, these these alloys. Did I make it? I think I did. Yes. So uh, bronze, I believe, is copper and aluminium. No, it can't be. That's far too easy. Alloying. Copper and tin. Yes, of course it is. Everybody knows that. One, two, three, copper. Let's make a whole bunch. And then one, two, three. So if you come over here, you can bung these, basically you can bung them in the induction smelter. The induction smelter is a way of creating, uh, either you put a, an, an ore in with some sand. Oh, and I, did I show you this? Um, I have got the material stoneworks factory exporting its sand into the induction smelter, because that way we can quite easily double our ores, which I'm getting a lot more of now, thanks to the mining dimension. Uh, I just chuck an ore in here and it will spit it out again, but the sand will continue to replenish itself because that's how that works. If I do this and this, this will do that. And then when this finishes, that's going to empty itself. We're going to have to get rid of this sand. Luckily, I can just double right click on here. And it'll get rid of my uh, blaze rods as blaze parts as well. But that's all right. We'll come back to that. Mm -mm. How are you doing? I'm a little bit leery to do this, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, the, this is keeping up, which is very nice. Um, you can see how that one has a little bit less in it every now and then. That's fine. Uh, but these, well, they're keeping up with that. But when we run everything, like if I if I wanted to charge my uh, destruction gadget, for example, these start to suffer pretty quickly because that draws quite a lot of power. It can fill up really fast, and it uses 120 off of tick. Uh, these output not as much as that, apparently. So we were going to want a better way of doing uh, power, and I've got something in plan, as I have said. But that will be for the future. Did we want... Uh, now look, I can't remember if it's cobblestone or stone. Stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of these. Two of these. Copper. Uh, these were bronze gears, no? Oh, those are bronze. And then some copper as well. This is uh, obviously a very... But, uh, I know it's inefficient, but it's interesting. I prefer to... You know, who doesn't like spending time in the library stacks just, you know, browsing and seeing what's available for, for, for anybody to read and have a look at? So I don't, I don't think there's any problem with that at all. Except for the fact I can never remember where I put my redstone. My redstone. We'll improve this in the future. This is just me being silly. You know, there's no point in having just a boring base that you don't really, like, you're not interested in living in, right? I mean, more power to you if that's what you want. I mean, you can watch someone like Die Wolf or go and have a look at forge one you can see they've got um a little bit of a difference in the way that they work but ultimately many people have basically the same uh the same same sort of outlook same opinion uh we are going to compact um yeah uh, many people have a very similar outlook on the way that works and you know that's up to them i for one am not a fan of having just a base made of <laughs> several nine by nines all just stuck together it's not interesting Let's put a stack, half stack in here, and then you go faster, go faster, go faster. We'll make one blaze rod. This should be okay to um, tick accelerate. It's this that crashes the whole world. So let's not 
sorry about that. One more blaze rod and now we can have our ender chest. We do, however, need... Uh, one ender chest is not enough. Because the non-vanilla form of ender chest, which is what we're now about to make out of two pieces of obsidian and a chest, um, is uh, slightly more interesting than the original ender chest. Because the vanilla ender chest, obviously, you have, as noted, one for your uh, entire... One for your one for your player. So everywhere you go, lock these. Um, I want to just get wool. I don't want to use those colored walls. Everywhere you go, you're going to have the same inventory to your ender chest. So if you carry an ender chest with you, plonk it down and then uh, pick it up again. And you know, every time you plonk it down, bada boom, bada bing, you have a uh, the same inventory. But in this one, you actually have one inventory per ender chest color. The ender chest has uh, three notches on it. <laughs> notches, get it. Uh, and an ender pearl, please. Uh, that determine what uh, inventory it has. So I thought I'd put my ender pearls over here. I don't. Uh, I won't get two because the other thing I want to make is an ender pouch, actually. So let's do this. There's our ender chest. So if we. Just dropping stuff on the floor. Let's have a look at this. There's your ender chest. It's a chest. Fine. Um, I'm going to replace the other chest over there with the ender chest. This is made of obsidian, so this is taking a little bit of time. Luckily, it's not made of obsidian to the point where I can't actually pick it up. <laughs> or I would make me a very sad panda. Indeed. Uh, let's put this here. Right. Grand. Ender pouch. Ender pouch. Ender puch. Ender poo. Uh, three leather, one ender pearl, and some blaze powder and some more wool. Brilliant. Uh, we've got leather here. One, two, three. One. Sometimes it just double clicks and opens one of those. It kind of makes me a sad panda. It doesn't make sense. One more ender pearl, please. I forgot my ender pearl. Wouldn't mind pocket crafting. <laughs> Having to go back and forth between these is probably a very boring episode. Ender pouch. Watch this. See that? Watch this. Ender pearl goes in there. Uh, that goes in there. Oh, look. There it is in there. This ender pouch is now connected to that ender chest because it has the same color. Brilliant. So, wherever we go, we could just dump our stuff in the ender pouch and it will get dragged out as relevant. When we start dragging stuff out, it's going to get dragged out of there and we're going to put it in here. So that's going to be the... Probably the next thing we do is to set up some conduit system so that we can pull things out of the ender pouch and into the uh, drawer. So what I'm going to do is move the drawer controller across by one. Perfect. And there's a couple of options for this as well. I don't really know which one I want to do. Particularly, can I have my apples back? Thank you. Nom 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 nom. nom. Uh, we will put this over. I've got some uh, wood-based stuff here, so I don't know how many different types of sapling there are. These ones up here, as I said, are designed for anything that has 16 of the type, which is basically anything that uses the old damage value or uh, the old metadata system before we had NBT, because it's a 16 different numbers could be applied to a single block type, but now that we have MBT, you can basically have a thousand different uh, types for a single block. So there's not going to be so many of those anymore, so there could be really any number of saplings. And indeed, there's going to be, I mean, each one's going to have its own different type, right? They're not, uh, they ain't what they used to be. There's not 16 of them. Now, the one thing we might want to do is just use a translocator. These are cool, pretty cheap to make, so we just need two more ender pearls, which by the way, we should be getting even more of. Oh, in case you weren't aware, the cloche out here does seem to be working. I've got another thing to show you. The cloche is working now because you have to pump water into it. So I have dragged the water all the way over from, excuse me. Yeah, I don't have a, uh, what? It's full of water and it is growing because that's what this means. Um, but. How is the water being filled up when this is right, 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 right? That's the never mind. <laughs> Confuse myself. Everything's working fine. Don't worry about it. This is growing ender pearls very slowly. But <clears throat> the other thing I won from one of those loot chests, which was not a quest quest reward, by the way, which we should hand in. Um, can I have a look at this? Under here, where the ender pearls live. A growth crystal tier 2, which I can't show you the information about right here, but if I have a look in my JEI, we can show you that a growth crystal growth a growth crystal tier 2 
uh, works in a 9x9 farm, checks up to five blocks of blood down, can use a water source, water source, fast growth. So that down there is A, creating a water source for everything around it, which doesn't really matter because we're not really making a proper farm out here, but it would work over there. Um, but it's causing these to grow faster and it would work in an oh, 9 by 9 area, which means I can have a whole bunch of ender pearl farms if I, uh, ender lily plant farm thing is, if I were to find any more ender lilies in the first place, which would be great. So looking forward to that, but now I've got, look, I've picked up two and now I've got five, which is even better. Uh, what were we doing? Translocator. Got a lot to do. Uh, I'm not trying to rush, but can it sort of happening? <laughs> Let's put everything away. Do this. You have to do it on the front, otherwise it doesn't let you. I haven't got a space for bronze. I can go in here. Brilliant. Um, right, two ender pearls. Some redstone. Uh, gold. Three iron. Three pieces of wood. I um, feel like I'm in like the two Ronnie's sketch, asking for items in a gross. Oh, what am I doing? In a hardware store individually. Uh, four candles, please. Four candles. Sign outside says 59 minute cleaners. All right, watch this. <clears throat> All right, watch this. Huh? Nothing's happening. Well, that's because there's nothing in here. Oh, there is something in there. In fact, I put it in here. <laughs> oh. What? Where did it all go? What? My dudes, everything is in here. Check this out. Let me get a stack of cobble. Put this heck in here. It's all going out. One by one, I grant you, but that is a cool effect. You have to be honest. Uh, and if I put anything in here that won't go in there, nothing will happen. Man, I'm sorry to go all meme excited on you, but I love that. Especially I love the way it works. Now, if you put, is it a golden nougat? Or is it a gold bar? Try a nugget, because it might be better off that way. On here. On here. Probably a bar. Let's try a bar. One bar, please. One gold, please. I thought you could improve it. All right, let's try diamond. There's a way of improving this, and I will find it. I will find it. Six diamonds. You can filter it, by the way. There's a way of making it go a stack at a time, but I have no idea what it is. Ah, uh, we'll Google it. <laughs> Why not? This is what the world is for. Uh, Minecraft translocator stack mode. Item translocator, feed the beast wiki. Translocator's mod is your transfer. Right click on the center with an empty hand. We'll talk to you about some other Six inches connected to one space. The gooey items. Translocator can be upgraded by right-clicking it with a given upgrade item. Items, okay, shift right-click with an empty handle. Redstone responds for redstone signal. Iron, we make a redstone signal to the attached inventory on input mode if there is no room for any item that matches the filter. On output mode, there's no place where any item can be put that matches the filter. Glowstone dust, stack at time. And then diamond nugget, regulate mode. It will transfer a certain amount of items set by the filter and mode to an adjacent inventory. So with a diamond nugget on input mode, it will only accept items to fill the inventory to the matching filter amount. So what you can do, I mean, when I shift right clicked on here uh, with an empty hand, you can put things in here, but with the diamond nugget on it, um, what that will instead do is allow you to put a number of things in a filter, not just a filter. And then when you've done that, the uh, translocator will ensure that that thing contains that many of that item which is really cool so we wanted a piece of glowstone which should be we made some I'm pretty sure we have some but if we put this on here there we go splendid so now if we get a couple of stacks of uh, cobblestone out of here this should go one stack at a time really fast do that super duper quick so if we put stuff, if we're in our ender pouch here, also don't forget the cobblestone thing has the void upgrade on it. Remember that? We put that on ages ago because we're getting our inventory absolutely chock full with cobblestone. With this now, if we have any cobblestone and it's been a pest to delete it when we go mining, we chuck it all in here, 
up to 2048 going there and everything else just gets voided by this individual mechanism here which i think is absolutely splendid very much worth uh, investing in and i'm glad we went to the effort of doing that uh next up how long have we got it's about five minutes left now in that case let's move on to yet a third thing we want to look at the uh ender io mod because what i wanted to do was automate this area because sure we got a little bit of oh sure we got a little bit of um uh, nether quartz out of double layer capacitor brilliant we've got a little bit of nether quartz out of a, a reward bag uh, i do want to do that but maybe we could think about making a uh, bag opener see if this is easy because this might be something we can just shove in real quick stone pickaxe the quest book which is stone and a book oh sure so we can make a book, but we don't have to do it that way. We can make them out of wood. I'm just going to do it this way because uh, we can. <laughs> Any string around here? I don't think so. The thing is, I'm not really populated this too heavily. So all the string is still up here where the string farm lives. Which is fine. Perfect. And then we can start making a book. Let's just make a book. Uh, book, 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 book. We want two of these. I'm going to make a bunch, I don't care. Can't stop me, so let's accept it. And then paper. Plenty of chickens, by the way, which is good, because at some point we want to get into chickens, because uh, chickens are going to start laying things like iron for us. Yeah, I know. So don't worry. The chickens are fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they're fine. They don't mind. <laughs> uh, one of these, please. One art, please. And then one of these, please. I don't even know where the quest book is. And then one of these, please. Wait, this? No. Let's go back. <clears throat> we can make stone sticks and wood. Stone sticks and wood. Stone. It's going to get a stack of each. Sticks, wood. There we go. This is a lot easier to make than I expected it to be, to be quite honest with you. The loot crate opener. So what we can do here... I'll show you this. We plunk this down. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is the first thing that happens by going through here. Um, so I'm just going to stick it here for now. It's not that great because of the position. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. I'm going to put it here. Just dog. So what's going to happen is anything that gets pulled out of here is first going to try to go into here if it can, and then if it can't, it's going to go into here. The loot crate opener is something completely different, apparently. But, uh, it's, I thought this had an inventory. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. Let me out. Uh, I didn't mean to open all of these. This is this is terrible. The world is the world is the worst thing in the world. Uh please. Get rid of all oh I'll keep the lapis. Bam's pineapple pizza. Okay. Ender orb translocator. Don't throw away anything that you want to keep. <laughs> oh that was everything, right, good. Uh, and then that. So um pardon me if I'm being dense, which I am. But uh, how do I open this? I thought I was doing something smart and clever. Put this down over here. I can't... Does it literally just open it? Because there's one... Loot... Loot crate storage. Loot crate opener. Loot crate. Loot generator. Well, that's... In the next episode, I will figure out what the flipping heck the loot crate opener does by typing loot crate opener stone block 2. I'm not even going to wait till the next episode, I'm going to tell you now. In stone block 2, in episode, there's a loot crate opener, loot crate storage. They place the bag of open storage, loot bag model. I won't actually use them. No dice. This, is this setup, where did bacon and the cool thing? They have to be piped into the storage openers. The pipes don't work every time, so I'm using hoppers. This setup, which is an imgur. Well, excuse me? Sure. I don't care about cookies right now. So, what is that? What is happening? There's a chest. 
and then a pipe to the first thing and then a hopper into the second thing and then into a excuse me so it's got one of these that creates storage which is <laughs> and then into one of these <laughs> but you can't just like Uh, let's keep going a little bit. This is a bit of a longer episode than usual, but... Oh, no. Keep that. I really don't care about most of this. Slime balls are fine. Stone one, don't care. Plenty of mushrooms. I don't even care about the wood. I mean, I've got literally infinite amount of wood going on. I've got sugar, I can do that. A juicer. We'll make it later if we care, okay? And we can eat some pizza if you really want to. You can't eat it right now. No worries. Okay. Um, let's get a hopper. Because. Reasons. People have been putting um, the loot crates into the hopper. And then the hopper on top of the... Hopper on topper. Hopper on top of what? Hopper. There's no hopper here. Okay. Fine. <sighs> we should be able to make a hopper. We've got a chest in here, right? So... Give me that. Oh, you don't... It doesn't use it at the chest book. The quest book, that's really good. We've got a hopper. Um, get this out of here. So we might be able to make this as well. So loot crate, loot crate storage, which is, uh, what is this? Shulker box. Except any chest. So we should be able to make that with a bit more wood. Fine. What the heck is a shulker box? Why do you keep teaching me about things, game? <laughs> Whilst I'm in the middle of, like, learning other stuff, just stop with your unfair unfriendliness. So, <laughs> let's go back. Bit of a longer episode, but I've started recording a little bit less. And if you've been watching the Dead Cells episode, you'll uh, you'll hear my pithy excuses as to why. But uh, I don't really have any excuses. Basically, um, it, it just happens. You know, sometimes things there's more things to do than there are epic loot crates. I'm going to open up myself. Uh, the, more things to do than time to do them. Put this in here. They should start filtering out. Now we've got Ender Lily. Right. So there's stuff in here. Actually, six ender lilies already is outrageous. But now what? 143 stored items, and you say you've got ender lily in you. Apparently, you can just put loot crate storage, right? So this is juice. This is items. Kind of wish these were the other way around right now. But okay, we'll, we'll just deal with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is get this hopper. Also, this is now going to be full of items, right? So if I break this, bad news bears. Oh no, still got stuff in it? I have no idea. So we will put loot crate opener here. Oh, that. <laughs> By the way, this is hacky and cheating, but I'm going to allow it. Still got 143 items in it. In case you're wondering, I just used the bracket button. I've killed a bat in the caves when I was mining. And now I can turn into a bat. I mean, we, we, we talked about this. Because I spent ages setting up the thing that made this work, right? Um, but I, I honestly should probably um, do that. There we go. Now, if we do shift tilde, we can do bat down and me up. Right, so now... We can do... One more thing. Heavens above. <laughs> Please bear with me. Now we go and get a, a servo. We need another servo and a couple more thingies. We don't have... Yeah, they're all in here now. Uh, with this... Also, by the way, just do this. We can... Oh, I haven't got prismarine shards in there. That's interesting. Um, do we have a server? We do have item ducts, which is fine. And server. Server. Don't have a server. Let's make one. Uh, hardened server. Well, just not server. Iron nuggets. Yeah. Eh. Two of them. Bit of redstone. Wasn't sure how much it was. I've already forgotten. So what the heck. Uh, servo, please. Right, one more iron nugget. Oh, I need three irons. You to do because one of them has to become more nugs. There we go. And then this, and then a uh, hardened servo. So we should be able to just turn a servo into another invar ingot, which is this. 
We're remembering where I put things, so that's a good start. Uh, we we do want the hardened one because uh, it's nickel. What was I saying? What was I saying? Hmm? Remember I put things? This one, thank you. And then that, right. Let's go. We've nearly finished the episode. Like I was saying, I haven't been recording as much, so I'm trying to give you a little bit more content by making you stay around during the same video instead of doing something sensible and having more videos. I thought you'd appreciate that a lot more, but that's not going to happen, so uh, deal with it. <laughs> Let me put this like this, and then this, and then this, and then stuff cuts coming out and going in there, and it's going to be the openings of the boxes, right? Also, what is all this? The other thing we need to do is void a lot of stuff. Really a huge yeah. amount of stuff. 106 items. Because uh, all that's going to start coming out of here. Soul Sand, thank you. Really appreciate that. So this is going to back up very quickly, um, but that's fine. And let's open this. <gasps> Moving wand. Right click to take a block. Right click again on a block to place it down. Sure thing. I don't mind that. Let's go and... Um... First of all, we'll charge it up, and then after that, we'll see how many blocks cause the game to crash when we use that on it. Oh, you take a lot of energy. Cool. Let's have a look at this. Reusable ender pearl that carries you. Uh. <laughs> Couldn't find my charge porter. It wasn't in the right place. Uh, that was bad news, bears. How about now? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this seems like a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been reasonably entertaining for you. That was entertaining for me. <laughs> Just died over here for no reason. Uh, hello? I thought you'd just shift on this. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been an entertaining and um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, informative episode. Why is there dirt here now? That's very rude. Uh, and I hope that you will join me for the next one. There's my own head. I suppose we should put this here. Well done, me. Where did it go? I'm wearing my own head. Ta-da! This is an uh, odd number. The, the walls are the wrong shape. You can go there. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode whilst I have been blathering on, changed my mind about a million things, and just generally trying to remember how to play this flipping game. Uh, until the next episode, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you remember to share this with all your buddy mates who enjoy watching Minecraft, because I do, and everyone else does too. And until the next time, again, thanks for watching. I will see ya.